Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, award-winning storyteller and poet Dina Mshope is writing her memoirs on her world travels and currently has a show at the Rumbelow Theatre in Durban called My Travelling Bag, which runs until Sunday. Written and performed by her, it tells of 33 years of suitcases, stamps, passports, friendships, missed flights, souvenirs and memories. The actress, storyteller, poet, playwright, director and author joins us now from our Durban studio to share more on this production. Tina, thank you very much for joining us on Morning Live. Sawon, Sawon, thanks for having me. Now, let's look at, uh, firstly, the title uh, of your memoirs and, and this performance that you're giving. Very interesting and catchy as well. Take us through it. <laughs> My traveling bag. I always thought uh, the amount of time you have to spend packing and unpacking, and you always have a traveling bag all these years of traveling. You know, when I went out of South Africa for the first time uh, in September 1983, I thought, ah, because yeah, maybe it's the first time, maybe it's the last time of uh, going overseas, but I was going to do so much traveling, so much time spent in the air, in aeroplanes, in all kinds of uh, moving um, vehicles underground and in the water. Uh, and so my traveling bag is full of stories. That's what the show is about. Now, let's look at how you were approached by the theater to put this together. How did you feel when that came about? Did you feel, you know what, I've got 33 years of stories to tell. Let's start right away. Or did you, you know, maybe have some reservations on it? Well, I wanted uh, to start putting together my memories because um, really I've created lasting friendships since that first trip to England. I've made uh, friends that are still my friends to this day in all the different countries. And um, the first time I performed uh, my traveling bag was at the Catalina Theater when um, the late Themi Venturas uh, hosted what they call the Musho Festival. It's a, a festival where single-hander shows are, are performed. And so I requested to, to, to work with Temi, and we agreed that we're going to put up a show that uh, talks about these uh, experiences. So that's the first time I did the traveling bag. And then um, Roland from the Ramalo Theater was in the audience, and he saw the show, and we stayed in touch. Then he said he wanted me to do the show uh, at the Ramalo, and I did it at the Ramalo um, a few times, and then I, I took it to Johannesburg in Houghton, in the theater there, and I came back. I did it again so it's a kind of show that is very laid back it's story theater with fun music with um, um, remembrances sometimes members of the audience remember I was in Australia that year you know and, and I remember getting into a seaplane it is fascinating this to see how the audience reacts to things that you you can't predict in advance and um, when I share these stories, also I open my suitcase that I bring onto the stage and I pick up mementos and I show them this happened when I was in Canada. This happened when I was in Malawi. This happened when I was in Japan. So it is, um, it is fun. I have a lot of um, good times uh, sharing these memoirs. Now you've just made... It, uh, it's a traveling bag, but because there's so much to tell, it is um, dishing out one bowl at a time. Now you've just mentioned that when you're on stage, you actually, you know, open the bag as you share the stories take us through your first experience do you remember it the first time i performed the traveling bag no 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 not the first time you performed the traveling bag your first travel experience in terms of your work <laughs> <laughs> I was such a donor cop. I knew nothing about international traveling i didn't even know where the check-in counter was <laughs> Okay, in terms of so your... So I had to go to the check-in counter at the Jan Smuts International Airport in Johannesburg. And then you get your boarding pass and you stand there, you don't know what to do next. And then I have to go to uh, passport control. And I'm just following people. I was so nervous. I didn't know what I was doing. And then you go to the other side and finally you get to the gate and you get into the aeroplane. And again, what's going to happen now? You are told you are assigned a seat 
and you sit down and they say safety belts, what do you do with it? So those little things that we now take for granted, you sit in an aeroplane and you, even if you do a 6 a.m. flight and you just sit there, do your um, sit belt and relax and wait for them and they go through the security um, messages and you hardly even hear them because you are so used to traveling and we shouldn't do that. We should listen every single time. But that first trip to England, I didn't even know how long the trip was. Or arriving in England and freezing cold because <laughs> my polyester jersey wasn't ready for England. Well, 33 years later, luckily you don't have to wear a polyester jersey on your travels. Ma, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Live. <laughs> I, I, hope, uh, I hope it's going to be uh, the kind of show that will give birth to the book because I will be writing a book of my memoirs. Thank you very much, Ma. That was Gunam uh, Shope, actress, storyteller, poet, playwright, director and author sharing her travelling experiences through her play at the Rumbelow Theatre in Durban. Very interesting one indeed. We'll be back.